Hi everyone and welcome to the third session on deviation from ideal mental health where we'll take a further look at the evaluation and the skills that you'll need to earn for your AO3 marks. So let's start with a thinking activity. On the screen and on your worksheet you can see that there is an arrow across the screen and we're on a continuum of agree to disagree. So for this task you're going to be showing a series of statements on the screen and you'll have 60 seconds to think about them or discuss them with somebody else. And your job is to choose a place on the agree to disagree scale where you would sit. So here's all the statements that you've just thought about or discussed and what we will do now is take a quick look at each one and you may have noticed that the answer wasn't always straightforward and that's absolutely fine. So number one, ideal mental health is a culturally universal way of divining abnormality. So you probably should have put your decision near the disagree end on the continuum since we know that actually there are plenty of examples where the or big cultural differences in what constitutes ideal mental health. Number two, ideal mental health is a positive way of looking at mental health. And this would be towards the agree end of the continuum. And this is because it focuses on what people need to do to be healthy and to have normal behaviour, rather than focusing on the sickness or the illness or the, the strange things people do. Number three, ideal mental health could have good implications for supporting someone to overcome their abnormalities. And this would be in the agree end as well, because since there's lots of criteria, it could be that we're able to pinpoint the one that someone is struggling with and then suggest some intervention or treatment that would help. And number four, ideal mental health offers a realistic set of criteria for people to strive towards. 
and I'm hoping that you all put that towards the disagree end, since we know that it's not likely that people can always meet that six criteria. So if we take these points further, we can start looking at how to use them to earn marks in your exam. So for this task, let's revisit the burger and take the point on the screen. So one limitation of ideal mental health is that the criteria are considered unrealistic for people to achieve. So you've had to think about it, but now you need to complete this template, elaborate on what that point means, and then offer an explanation for why this point is a limitation. So pause the video here for five minutes while you add your first burger to the writing frame. Okay, so we can take a look at a completed example. Hopefully you were okay with yours. You can compare your structure, use of terms and depth to the answer that's on the screen. And you can pause the video here for a closer look. So moving on, for this task, we're going to focus on selectivity, which is a crucial skill for exams. And on the screen, you can see several points and several elaborations on the screen, but they're all jumbled up. So pause here for two minutes whilst you read and match them up. Hopefully you managed to match all three, but let's take a look at the screen for the correct answers and give yourself a tick if you match them correctly, and if not, pause and write them out so that you've got them for future reference. Another crucial skill is accuracy, and accuracy is just as crucial as elaboration and structure. So for the task that's on the screen, read the evaluation point on the screen and see if you can spot any errors. So this is not a perfect paragraph. There's errors in there for you to find. So pause the video for five minutes while you see if you can spot them. All right, so hopefully you managed to spot a couple of errors in the paragraph. So first up, so where it says an explanation for abnormality, that's inaccurate because actually we're talking about a definition of abnormality, not an explanation. Where it suggests that it's culturally universal, well, we know from previous lessons that it's not universal. So the term there that the candidate should have used is culture bias. Nine criteria isn't correct. We know that there's six criteria. Self-actualization, now it is one of the criteria, but it's not the one that is then described. This wasn't a strength. So you can see how a few wrong terms or slips to the pen can really derail what otherwise could have been a really good evaluation point.